interesting stuff. Did you know the funny stuff could be worth a little something, something? It could be. It, it could just be. depends. It depends on what you have. <laughs> so, of course, we've got the Pawn Shop Insider, Warren Anapolsky with California Loan and Jewelry. And we've got Mike's very, very cool collection. Okay, so you've got some really cool things here. I'm seeing 1944. Is that the, oh, no, that's not even the oldest thing. Is that the oldest thing? I think it's 42. 42? Is that 42? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so here's my big question. Mm -hmm. First of all, Mike, you, your collection of things is extensive. Yes. But when you start to pick up the funny stuff, how do you know what to collect when it comes to a comic strip? Well, the reason we got interested in these, Suzanne, my wife, and I are both oh, really? artists, right. and a lot of artists were influenced by Ernie Bushmer in particular. Okay. Um, Andy Warhol did a piece of Nancy, um, the Harry Who, Jim Nutt, Gladys Nielsen, uh, Carl Worsham. Mm -hmm also have done pieces so we kind of got into it through the art we saw the fact uh, a friend of ours said dailies are available and this is what the daily strips are right. and they were about in those days they were about 30 bucks and i talked with a friend of mine who also collects these mm -hmm. he probably has a lot more than i do um ron Peets. and the dailies are going for about a thousand bucks a piece wow yeah. Ooh, yeah. So when you grabbed them, they were 30. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And going for about a thousand. Oh my yeah. gosh. And you said they're all original. They're all original. Which is key because that's how you, you that's one of the things to figure out how much it's worth, right? Is to whether or not it's original. How do you figure that kind of stuff out? Well, that's the main uh, point to remember of any collectible item is the originality of it. Right. You know, you don't want to clean it, you don't want to uh, repair it. The more original Which it is, sounds that sounds so counterintuitive. Don't clean it, don't repair it, right? But you want it worn. Right. It was <laughs> much better to be untainted or repaired or fixed up or whatever. Yeah. Originality is very important on this. And you gotta remember these comic strips are very important to American history. When sure. you think about it, the very first uh, and the longest running comic strip is the Cats and Jammer Kids, which started in eighteen ninety seven, I believe it is, and it's still in Circul circulation today, yeah. as well as Gasoline Alley started around 1918. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael was the first one, you were telling me about the Yellow Kid. Yellow Kid. In about 1885, really old, Yellow Kid was, was the first one. And um, some of these you can still see the blue line in them, make, that also helps uh, uh, give the idea that they're the original pieces. And today in the movies, they use a blue screen. So right. it really hasn't changed very much. So when these things are photographed, the blue line would disappear, and that was the undersketching. Then they would then they would get inked, basically. Um, the one over there, the Felix the Cat, uh huh, that is a, from a comic book. Okay. And the Fritzy Ritz over here was from a Sunday. You can tell it's much bigger. You can s tell that it's three strips together. So the comic book size, um, uh -huh. more like a, like a page that That's you would find page, an actual book, page. but then a strip. As you can see here, this is a that would three. be a Sunday strip. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, is there a difference in worth or value between a comic strip and? Yeah, a probably something like Fritzy Ritzer would probably go for about twenty-five hundred, and the comics comic strip, that I don't really know. I, I do not know how much the the, the comic book. Would go. Okay, so Warren, here's what I need to ask you. Sure. Because you know how we always figure out somebody's got a little something in their attic and they have no idea what, right. they're, what they're sitting on. How do you know that you should bring these items in to you to see if they're worth anything in the first place? Well, I would say if you have anything like an early comic strip, yeah. even our comic books, bring them down. We would like to do the research, help find out if they're real. We got Mike here and Susan that can help us do the work on that. So you never know what's hiding in that closet. Bring it down. It could be worth something. Could be worth You never know, people. Right? You never just know. take a perusal and bring it down. I say the trip that you take to come see Warren in the shop is actually going to save you a little extra time and money because you know you don't know what you're looking at. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just be honest. It's true. No idea wow. what you're looking at. <laughs> right? That favorite cartoon character of yours can pay off. Mm -hmm. Big time. Right? right? Thanks, Court. We'll hook up uh, the